Welcome to Instant Efficiency Series. In this video, we look at how to capture and analyze data using SharePoint Online in Office 365. Traditionally, we send Excel templates by email to gather data from people. Too many files, errors due to copy-paste, inaccurate data, there is a long list of problems. Now there is a smarter way to capture accurate data using SharePoint. The steps are create a list, invite people, gather data and analyze. SharePoint allows us to collect data in collections called lists. SharePoint provides many predefined types of lists like announcements, tasks and contacts. You can also choose to use a custom list and specify what data to collect yourself. Data in a list is defined in terms of columns. You can create columns which will contain data of various types including text, number and date. You can also mark some columns as mandatory and create validations to prevent data entry mistakes. Now the list is ready for data entry. At this point, let us look at a very powerful SharePoint feature. You can configure a list such that users can view and edit only items that they themselves have created. These two simple operations ensure that people cannot see or edit each other's data. Finally, invite the people that you need to collect the data from. You can do this by adding them to the members group of the SharePoint site. Now, the invited people can visit this list and enter data. They can do this through a form that SharePoint automatically creates for the list or if they use Internet Explorer and have Microsoft Access installed on their computers, they can also use the SharePoint Datasheet view to enter data. Each person can view and edit only data that they have entered. They cannot see each other's data. Whenever you log in, because you are the owner of the site, you get to see all the data no more copy paste. Now you need to analyze the data, export to Excel and use pivots, charts, conditional formatting etc. Just imagine you created a list, gathered data and analyzed it without knowing any programming or talking to IT. This is how SharePoint puts you in control. Why don't you try this and let us know your feedback. Thank you.